Cute. All of a sudden, babe, white is my favorite color. All of a sudden, white's my favorite color. <laughs> I love it, I love it. You look so cute. Thanks. I've texted the guys. They're all set to go. And yeah, we'll do some drinks and have a good old time at the Belmont. Just a little thank you for everything, you know? I'm making Palm Springs, like just the best trip. Yeah. Watch this. Damn it. So how are you feeling about going to Lala's and hanging out with her one-on-one? -on -one? Um, I feel good. I'm excited to play pickleball. You know when people say, oh, like, let's go get lunch this week. And you're like, oh yeah, let's do it. And then, you know, your plans always fall through. You were good at pickleball. Randall, literally, when I got home last night, I was still talking about it. He's like, Raquel's really good. I want you to come play with me at the house. I'd love that. That's what I thought was going to happen when Lala asked me to play pickleball. There's always that little doubt in my mind because she has been unpredictable before. Give her this chance, give her this shot. You've got a big heart. It's gonna be great. Half of the reason why Lala treated Raquel so poorly for so long was, you know, Raquel's a very easy target. She's beautiful, she's sweet, she's my girlfriend. And you know, Lala just had to like feed on someone. But now that we're both sober, there's no excuses. I'll all be right. on my way to Lala's. All right, all right, have fun, I love you. All right, say hi to Lala for me. I will. Bye, baby. I mean, I feel better after my workout, but it's good. Last night, obviously, I was very upset. What the hell happened last night? Oh, God. Sandoval, he lost his mind. Just so exhausting. Broken record. Just, I've heard that same story 500 times. You don't know what that did to me. When I'm there in that situation and I need confidence, and I look at you and I'm not getting any, and, I, and I'm being told that you're gonna die alone on that mountain. No, I said, this is the hill you wanna die on, which is a phrase that has nothing to do with being alone. But also it's like, you're gonna die. You're, you're not gonna win this battle. Not about that book signing. You can't handle it, she gets attention. You're Are like you jealous serious right now? Yeah, I am Are serious. Are you serious? serious? Only really, you would think something like that, Katie. I realize everybody else is over it, but I'm like, not over it. He really doesn't want me to be involved in the bar to say it, but don't be like saying that he doesn't want a public undressing and screaming in his restaurant as he's screaming in Tom Tom. I know, I know. Little... The, trust me, the irony is not lost, honey. Sandoval cannot let go of the book signing because it was never about the book signing. It was about me making him admit that he was wrong. And for Sandoval's ego, that is like death. Ariana and I have gotten a lot closer and I feel bad. Like I can't go to Ariana's drink from home thing tonight. Yeah. It just sucks because having like this night planned where Schwartz and Katie were gonna come over and we were gonna test some of these cocktails that I've been working on. And it just feels like now that is not important. What about Brock and Sheena? Brock definitely doesn't know anything about making drinks. The, am I actually... Yes. He's like, hey baby, Tom, I work the shop bar, man. Oh my God, I would love to see Brock working at Shop Bar. <laughs> Do they make Tom Tom shirts in his size? No, we can just body paint them. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't forget we're going to get results from your sperm specimen sample. I'm also gonna oh, do yeah. an ultrasound, yeah. but like with like a wand that they stick yeah. up. I was filling out a paperwork. I was asking about like if you would ever like been pregnant before. So like that's definitely gonna like come up in our consultation. It's okay. I feel like we made the best decision at the time. I think we absolutely made the best decision I mean, uh, because like, listen, we were like, it was so early in our relationship and we were so- Uncertain about our future. We were uncertain about the next day. Uh, exactly. I mean, I knew yeah. I wanted to have kids, but I just knew that was not yeah. the time in my life. 
I actually had an abortion um, about 10 years ago. Tom and I have been together for a year and it was not pretty. Like we fought all the time and I wanted it to work out, but I was just like, if anything, like he's gonna leave and I'm gonna be a single mom. I think everyone, everyone, every woman, every person should, should be able to decide what's best for them. We weren't even living together yet. I was still living with Sandoval. Did I still have the air mattress? <gasps> no, had, you didn't have an air mattress when we I started I had the box spring. You had, yeah. From time to time, it does pop up in my mind, what if? When I found out Katie was pregnant, I just was like, this can't be, we use condoms. We're always so careful. And I have like less than $300 in my bank account. I wonder if we would have stayed together. I don't think so, I think. I think we would have broke up and like, this is too much, but we would have been good parents. If she wanted to have the kid, I would have manned up and found a way to make it work if I had to, but you know, I'll never know what would happen. And now it's something that we are ready for when it happens. Yeah, and... I mean, you're gonna be such a good mom. Thanks, I know. I'm gonna be such a good dad. You are. There's not a lot of things I'm 100% about in life, but I'm 100% sure I'm gonna be a good dad. Yeah.